Coming soon on social medias, it's S class. Of Zilloko, my <laughs> so what's the label? Like a bottle of chibuku? Uh, like a bucket. <laughs> to my nature, I criticize on social media. Yeah, I'm think I think I'm good at that when it comes to social media. That's why I really like spending most of my time in social media. Good afternoon, our lovely viewers. Welcome to S Class, member S Class Social Media Show, which runs on Facebook and YouTube. And we air it out every Friday at exactly 4. And we are going to talk about family planning. You are to work per home. If I wish we had time, we would have taken you around and see what of the, some of the things that these guys are doing. But before we even go further, they are going to first of all tell us uh, briefly about Wafpa, what Wafpa do in Uganda and how long has Wafpa been in existence. So somebody is going to take us through, then we shall later on air out or ask questions about family planning and what are they doing when it comes to family planning in Uganda. So welcome to the show everyone. Um, my name is Sam, so we are going to begin with Joel. Tell us about Wafpa. Thank you so much. Joel Send is my name, working uh, with Uganda Youth Alliance for family planning and adolescent health, an organization, a youth-led organization that, starts, that started way back in 2014 after seeing a demand in access and, ac access and availability of family planning services and other SRHR services among young people. In all things, why did you guys, you, all the things that young people are facing in Uganda today, there are those who are in wars, there are those who, have, who are poor, why do you guys have to choose family planning among all things? It still goes back to Joel. Okay, why do we select family planning? You know, we tend to have a lot of misconceptions when it comes to uh, contraceptives and family planning for young people. You're, you see a lot of teenage pregnancies just because they don't have access and availability of such services and information. So when we started up this organization, we saw that there were a lot of teenage pregnancies that made us to come up with an organization that would advocate for such services to be accessed. And why did you join, join UAFPA in the first place? I joined UAFPA because I had issues with my parents. They never told me anything to do with uh, sexuality, to do anything with uh, family planning. So when I joined, I saw that was, uh, that was a need. Uh, if, if I may ask, what is family planning according to your own opinion? Oh, family planning, um, I'm Eric Alex Wills. Uh, so I work with Uganda Italian Family Planning and Adolescent Health. Uh, family planning um, has got out of definitions depending on where you come from and how you view it. But personally, in layman's language, I would say this is an informed decision um, someone makes um, or a couple makes on how many children they should have, when they should have, and then the space between the children. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this decision is backed up by information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, briefly, that's what I can say about it. And if I may ask, would you recommend somebody of 17 years to use any method of family planning? Yeah, I will look at someone like 17 years. First of all, this is a person who is sexually active and with that means everything is possible in terms of production and reproduction. This means a person can have sex and you all know the outcomes of sex like the early pregnancy and then also the, the infection like HIV. So this is, this is the age where someone is hyper, someone is, wants to venture in very many things, wants to, to discover a lot of things. So I believe, yes, I would, I would do. I would give this person. If, if, if you, you can, can you please tell us some of the methods of family planning that are mostly used in Uganda? Oh, thank you very much. Ben Jivili is my name. I also work with Uganda Youth Alliance Family Planning and Adolescent Health. Uh, basically, in Uganda, we do have two types. Of, uh, of methods we use. We have the natural ones and we have the artificial ones. But I will run to those ones which are commonly used. For example, the condoms. Uh, we do have the pills. We have the implants. Obvious case, it's a lot. We have a lot to talk about them. But uh, these are co methods you all know. Uh, for example, the natural ones, we have um, what we call the moon beads. 
we have what we call the withdraw method, coitus interruptus, which is very difficult to use and it is, is for the strong hearted. Uh, then uh, we have uh, the lactation amenorrhea method, but this is a method that is very strict. Uh, when a mother is using it, right, it means that she is supposed to breastfeed a baby every after two hours to prevent uh, the hormones that lead to, uh, for example, production of ovaries, like that to be inhibited in the body. Mm -hmm. But going back to the artificial ones that are, are really used mostly, for example, we are a youth-led organization and we are dealing with the youth. And uh, we deal with youth-friendly methods. For example, uh, we always preach the gospel of condomizing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> condoms, actually, we are, some of us, we, we are Mr. Condoms. <laughs> Because we are ever with condoms, we don't want youths to get troubled. Then, uh, for example, pills for young girls, those ones who go in for sex, then before 72 hours elapse, they're like, oh my God, mm. I didn't have it on. So they go for emergency pills. Yeah, definitely. Th those are the like ones we use so much in Uganda. Uh, if I may ask a lady here, what, what is your best family planning method? Um, the one you prefer, mostly right now. Um, since it's um, um sexual active mm. age, I would advise people or myself mm. to use condoms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to use condoms, mm. but um, if it so <coughs> happens mm. that you engage into a sexual activity and you don't have a condom right on mm -hmm. um, you have like you say the emergency pills and all those things but it is it is not something that is advisable at such a young age so I would advise very many young girls to actually use condoms would you recommend your boyfriend to use a little method as a method of no because you cannot trust someone apart from yourself you can't you can't just tell someone oh it's okay we can you, you will you will do it Joe it's okay it's okay let's go on no you can't what if he doesn't what if he has HIV and you do not even know so at least with a condom there is dual protection you're either protected from infections or your pregnancy would you withdraw if your girlfriend tells you with, do you use a withdrawal method <laughs> <laughs> okay first of all I'm Majakia Cedric. I work with Uganda Youth Alliance for Family Planning and Adolescent Health. Me as a person, I wouldn't opt or accept the withdrawal method because I feel it's not safe. You know, withdraw, you can't really know the exact time when your sperms will come out. Okay, maybe you might know. Yeah, some people, so, yeah, some people claim, <laughs> <laughs> some people claim they feel it coming, but in actual sense, in actual sense, eh, you know, you may actually feel them coming, then you remove, you, you like, you power, you, you withdraw, you withdraw. <laughs> <laughs> you withdraw. So uh, after withdrawing, you may think that the sperms are done, but remember, some sperms stay within the penis. Mm. So uh, as you attempt to go in for the second round, mm. never know what might happen. You might make someone's daughter pregnant. So I don't recommend anyone to use withdraw. I believe with when you, time of, of, of sperms coming, that's a suitable but time when somebody is having sex, for those who have ever had sex before, you know what I'm talking about. Then, my, f my brother here, you, as a person who is in community, what are some of the challenges that young people are facing when it comes to family planning? My name is Martin. I work with Uganda Youth Alliance Family Planning and the Adolescent Health. family planning in the community. I think being to be like for example condoms and piso injectables being to be cook since they are cooking and you get deco bunch of money because secretary sometimes when you sang on on vulcan gum as a condom i did take a kangaroo jalabi now kubuza wachi now where's a condom ne ne yavika so over you know kumunyo nyole ngeri Condom when before I don't know you take a call. Also, can no checking a pleasure. 
no kebele expiry date pressure we battery mwe banfu you cannot use it kati olumala no opening ngo wo jijambo ti muka musiru ya yo you know jiko ateno wa group pressure e mega na mu katwa kasoka wa guru oli okoji take ko so bo jiteka ko bo you know jita ko ngo kutte akatwa ko pressure obutagenda mu oli jiteka ko kayino sigalanga ke kutte kasita gena mu pressure impact e jo ko zesa condom yeska e so bo ko abika in time ati let me ask a lady here. If if they always say that some ladies apply some Vaseline when they are going for sex, I don't know if they've heard about that. And they always say that if a lady applies some Vaseline in her vagina before having sex, this condom bursts. Is it true or false? Um, first of all, I'm called Linda. Uh, uh, that is not true. Uh, applying the Vaseline, okay, uh, the condom itself has Vaseline, mm. so that helps for lubrication. So when you apply any other Vaseline, to me, like when you apply any other Vaseline, it's which is not recommended, mm. it may not really work for you. So you may not be sure about it. At least uh, the condom itself mm. has uh, the lubrication oil. So when you apply it, when you use it when you're wearing a condom, mm. it helps you, like... Um, Okay, you wear it well. It doesn't give you. Okay, like it. It helps you not. Um, that helps you to wear the condom easily, and then also to remove it. But that one of applying any other Vaseline doesn't apply because you're not sure of the chemicals that were used in that Vaseline. But this is recommended. The one in a condom. Which method of planning would you recommend your friend, your best friend, and which method of planning would you use you as I uh, I think myself, I uh, would mm, go for a condom. Uh, why? Because um, it has worked for me. It's Yeah, it has worked and for me. So, uh, my friends, friend. uh, my best friend, I would recommend them to use what I'm using because it has worked for me. Why not do it? Because when you are having sex, it's, 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 like it's more sweeter when you're doing body to body. Sure, yeah, that is what most people say. Mm. It's sex is sweet when there's that intact, yes, like, yeah. yes. But then uh, that is um, risky mm. because uh, you may not be sure when someone releases their sperm, mm. you get. So the guy might tell you, convince you, no, I enjoy it, like, let's have it this way. Mm. But then uh, I wouldn't ask them to go for withdrawal methods because they also, they, are, they, are, they have their disadvantages. Okay. Yeah. If I'm um, ask Alex, what are some of the myths and misconceptions about family planning that you people in Uganda have today? Um, around the community, uh, one of the things that we realized was the gap in terms of information. <clears throat> and some of the things that that go around family planning, there are myths and misconceptions. One, the outstanding one is people say family planning causes cancer. And, and then on the other hand, on the other hand, people say when you have sex, when you have sex while standing, you know, the, the sperms can't be activities, you know, as, as, as you have sex, it goes down. And then also, the one you've just talked about, <coughs> using the Vaseline, yes, that's what some people, some people think. Those are some of the things that come out of the community, mm. that people think they, they So have. what do you always tell them when you're going to and somebody comes up? Yeah, what, what, one, of, what, one of our key strategies mm -hmm. is spreading information, correct information, because one of the rights that people have access to correct information about family planning. So we go out, we dialogue with them, we give them the real information, because like, like, like what you said about um, the Vaseline, mm -hmm. it's one of the misconceptions. How would I address that? Um, when, you look at, when you look at Vaseline, every Vaseline that has a stick on it, by, from a particular company, it is for external use only, not internal use only. Otherwise, we would just drink the Vaseline and we are fine if it was for internal use. But the reason why it is put on external use only. So, tell this person, like, the condom comes with its own lubrication. It doesn't need any extra lubrication. The one which is there is enough to facilitate the activity. So, if you add in some which is not supposed to be there, 
then it, it makes no sense. In the end, you suffer the effect of, of that. And then also, um, and then also people, people like people saying, when you put on condoms, you hear guys from their community, I don't, use, I don't use condoms. Condoms bust. They are weak, they are what? But actually, when the problem is how to use the condom, correct use of a condom and consistency. It's not about using it, but are using it correctly and consistently? That is the question that we go out going to address. So we teach them how to use the condoms correctly, and with time, they are seeing the benefit of the information. Yeah. So when we go back to Joel, we, where we live, we have Buddha Buddha riders, guys who fishmongers, then, and they always, they always like, we don't like using condoms, reason being, sometimes they inch us, sometimes they are small, sometimes it takes time when you're wearing it, yet somebody's there waiting for you to come in. So what does someone like, what do you tell these people? Because I, I understand like you've been meeting such challenges. Sure, so just like how my colleague has said, we encounter a lot of misconceptions when it comes to the community. But sometimes we tend to go with a, committed, sorry, uh, uh, people who are changed, converted people, who as um, in the first place we've been saying, it itches me, and then when they use it, it has brought a change. And then we tend to give them the correct information, like I said, condoms are made of uh, two brands, yeah, the materials. We have the synthetic material, and then we have the latex. So once you see that the synthetic is not good for you, then you try this, the latex condoms. How do you get of course, these condoms on the, the the paper, they have the brand's the name. If you love your life, mm. then you have to. Because life is not brought anywhere. Life is priceless. Apart from preventing somebody from getting pregnant, what else does a condom do? Uh, just like my colleague said, Virginia, a condom helps in a dual protection. That is, it helps in preventing HIV, that those are STIs, and then the teenage pregnancies, yeah. Only? Yes, for that. Only. Yes, that's why it's called a dual method. What method do you recommend? What method are you using? Uh, thank you so much. Me, I personally, I use a, um, a condom, mm -hmm. but then I wouldn't recommend anyone to use the same method that I use. Why? You know, sometimes people have a lot of issues when it comes to family planning. Mm -hmm. You may use a method that a friend has used and then you get side effects. So it's better before you use a method, you go for a check. They know the, um, um, inability, the inabilities that you have to use the method before you use it. Virginia, why is Abustin inside in Uganda? Um, abstinence is hard because, um, first of all, youth, young people, you're growing, you want to explore, you know about all these things from the internet, there's pornography, and you want to try out. So you get, like, there's this guy who likes you, what, what, and then you won't even think about condom and what, what. All you want to do is experience what the person you saw on maybe YouTube or something or some site of porn. Want, you know you want to also do that. And then you want to remember that there is maybe protection against HIV, STIs, and all those things for you. What you want is the sexual pleasure at the moment. That, I think that's why it's very hard to, because we are very exposed to a lot of things. Mm. So, I will start with the personal question. Mm. So, <laughs> if, if it's you, why, if, if you look at abstinence in Uganda today, young people start sex at an early age when they are playing mama and dad, some of them winding up having sex. Mm. And if I, may, if I may ask in your community, at what age do you think young people start having sex? Uh, hmm, it's a tricky one, but. Me as a person, I come from Busoga, and you know Busoga is a, a region that is uh, known for having the highest number of numbers of teenage pregnancies within the country. I think these kids start their first sexual intercourse, I think as early as, as seven. Seven years. Yeah, yeah. Some experience. Yes, this. yeah. Uh, as you have said it, mm. these people experience this the sex when they, they are playing those games, mm. they, they engage in mama and tata. Mm. So before you know it, somebody is pregnant. Mm. We are having babies, who are, uh, actually babies who are carrying babies. We are having young girls as old as 14 having kids. So is the problem? The problem might be because of poor parenting and maybe because of 
perhaps the information that the young people are exposed to, that this information makes them to, you know, to get curious and they, they really want to know, to explore, and maybe because of the growth, that, you know, this is their stage and they are sexually active and there is no one trying to guide them, to give them the direction and also the lack of information. These people don't have information. Our parents are just looking at the young kids engaging in the sexual activities without telling them what to do. Previously, people used, we had sengas, but I, I really doubt whether at this age we are in, people, our sengas have time to talk to our young kids. I really doubt. Yeah. You're also an uncle. On a certain point. Then, if, if I may ask, if you look at Uganda today, people, the same people are engaging into sex, people go for sex. Like sex, one artist said, sex is a media, and if you look at the way people having sex today, it, it's, it's not a problem to us because our parents used to have sex, then they produced us. Family planning was not there, but they used to control themselves. So why, what is the problem in Uganda today? Why are you people advocating family planning, and why should people join family planning? Okay. Um, uh, in, uh, in Uganda, uh, First of all, the youth. These are very high. The the youth, the high, the high, high the biggest population are the youth, mm -hmm. and so they're the most active. It's the most active age. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them want to explore, like they said. They want to know. They want to. They want to really know what is happening, mm -hmm. and so uh, and also media internet mm -hmm. has brought in a lot of. Uh, it has uh, really brought in a lot of issues. You find that um, the young people, the youth, the ones at campus, institutions, even those back home, there are these uh, video halls and all that. Kids are exposed to internet, the phones at home at a younger age. Uh, so these people are really open. They see all that, like all the things on media, they ha there is access. So uh, myself, I feel, um, I feel they should be uh, the they should be sensitization, education. Uh, they should be counseling. We should do more of like um, community work, going to the roots, to the grounds, not only uh, here in the central, but we should reach out those in the communities because uh, uh, we are wondering, uh, most of the people are wondering why, why uh, most young children, we have child, child marriages like uh, in villages. It's because they don't have information. They are not uh, given knowledge. They don't have ideas, or maybe whatever they get, uh, they, they, there is no clear information actually about it. You mean if you overuse social media, you lose something? Yes, you yes. Like if you overuse social media, you get addicted. What? You to not really to sex, mm -hmm. but then the dress code, the way they speak, mm -hmm. their behaviors, and then also sex. Yeah, that lures you into that. Yeah. Yeah, person. Ngagwa kwesa, kwesa Facebook, kwesa Twitter. Kuvera kwa ulu sevi fana yu ya bachala. Utuni de fanya chomu chala anga yamba de ubi oskirizi. Of course, kuvana na feelings. <laughs> <laughs> so oskirizi chomu chala anga yamba de ubi chik chikiga mamugenda we gaten omu tuyena. Te chinga mbaka kuba boi chone we kuba auction media wenda banga ayamba de ubi akaskati akampi ne mwe gom. Of course, man, no gain than in Kwanom Walo Mulala Kubolimba Sola Mufuna. And now, towards a local having a sex more Kuba on over on a goal of your one, we're going to be fine. No better Sola Mufuna. Yeah. What only the community Jews get to Wanga and be banned by your feeding mood to sang anti Abacharib Savi singer, Abasiki was Kiba Abami, Ataba singer by Nabana, Ocho get a coaching, Abachala by Nava, Nabana Balaba, Bami Basikaska. Teach you to get a coach. Chisinzira no mukazi ye isatia. Sija kukua tanku sike. Ngandabu ulimu chalo yamba devulunji, to yamba deka skat kampi, ulimu chala muzad devi, ochitegira. Nevi anu o yamba daka skat kampi, of course. Mba, oja kwe sanga. Oja kwe sanga, sinze nganzi. Noje sanga wali yaba sikirizi bo musika, vichi vichi, ya. Which go to your get it, the children come back and go. Um, Chara Yamakaska da Campi, Vasolo Kuska, Baba Gambam community. So, to Alex, if you look at Uganda today, the biggest 
population are youth, adolescents, young people. And they are saying they are the ones who love sex like nothing, including me. Mm. Remember, I love sex. Mm. But if, if you have to advise somebody who is addicted to sex, which advice would you tell somebody who is addicted to sex and somebody who doesn't want his family planning as any method? Because we grew up knowing like our parents produced, like, their parents who produced 15, 15 <coughs> children, yeah, those of 10, 20, and it's, it wasn't a problem. Why is it a problem nowadays? Uh, I think one thing we are failing to to track is what went wrong in the beginning. Mm. When you look at the population there, you said around 75% of the population is, is, is the youth. And when you look at the demographic dividend, um, the youth contribute to that. And these youth, some of them are not in school. Mm. Others, those who have, who have managed to go to school, they don't have jobs. Mm. And the way you say the Miriam Naku, Kwegata. I'm imagining this person who doesn't have what to do, doesn't have any information, and he has a lot of time. You know, each time you are free, you have a girlfriend, the only thing you think about is come, take come and take me out, let's have sex, come because on. you're not working, you don't have anything stressing you. So, but in the end, you realize that this is causing a lot of things like the, 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 the high pregnancy rate and, 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 then, and then so on. And one of the strategies that has come up uh, was, uh, as a way of enhancing the demographic dividend is to increase access to family planning. Mm. And, and it's one of the things, it's the only solution mm. which can help us. Mm. Let us teach these people to make health choices. If I get no the consequences of pregnancy, then I wouldn't make my girlfriend pregnant. Mm. If I know I'm not ready, it's not all about having sex, but wh what about the effects? after sex. It's not about enjoyment. Will I suffer with the fruits of sex? And the other question is, am I ready? So these are things that people don't ask themselves and they look at the pleasure, which is short-term, and in the end they suffer for the rest of the, their life. So I would think, let us increase access to family planning, both information and then also the method to these people. That's what I would think. And also the parents. These days, gone are, gone are the days where people used to grow in homes. These are people growing in the community. We grow in a community whereby I can see what the neighbor is doing. Some people having sex in the next room. I become inquisitive. What are they doing? Like, yeah. like, like, like when one kid asked the teacher, mm. are human beings sweet? The teacher was like, why? I had, ma I had daddy telling mommy at night, mommy, you are, you are sweet. You are sweet. <laughs> so, you know, it keeps, you know, imagine such a kid asking you, was, mommy, well, was dad eating mommy? Because he kept on saying mommy is sweet, mommy is sweet, mommy is sweet. <laughs> So, you as a teacher, <laughs> what do you tell this kid? Mommy acted like a sweet that time. <laughs> so, do you... What, like, it, like, nowadays, people are bought, and mostly adolescents. We have found out that the adolescents are bought, and some of them lose lives. What would be your say about, when it comes to abortion, would you recommend a girl who is 18 years to do an abortion if she is not ready to carry the pregnancy? Um, from my school of thought, I will say that uh, according to the Uganda's setting, mm. abortion is restricted. Mm. But uh, as a medical person, from a medical perspective, I will say that there are conditions, there are situation or scenarios that are supposed to, that predict that however much you would like or not to carry a pregnancy, it is supposed to be terminated. For example, when a mother's life is at risk, she's at risk of losing her life. For example, this is a, lady, a young girl has been, you know, uh, raped, 12 years old, and this beast has raped the kid, and the kid is pregnant. The kid is a kid. Who is the beast? Uh, the rapist is a beast. Many who go around and, you know, rape kids of, to the extent of raping even a three-month-old kid. That one is a beast. Indeed, you're a beast. You deserve even to be slaughtered. <laughs> but I'm saying that uh, we are saying that, uh, for example, uh, another example, when uh, maybe, for example, mothers having HIV AIDS, mm. and uh, we are saying that there are high chances of this mother transmitting the diseases to, to the child. We can, uh, we can always advise to do an abortion legally in, uh, under the, the, the directions of a qualified medical worker, uh, in uh, medically accepted conditions. But one thing I can say that why are we having teenage pregnancies that are so high? All my colleagues have been saying the same thing. Uh, you know, we are having forces that are fighting contraceptive use. This one, we like it or not. For example, we have the barriers, we have the religious leaders and the cultural leaders. 
and these are the custodians of uh, the norms in our societies. They know the truth. They, they have kept themselves in the conservative way, not knowing that the world we are in now appreciates new diversities that have really come into. If you think that a man was giving birth to 12 kids by then, where we, the, the, the prevalence of diseases was very low, the standards of living were very low, but right now we are having high rates of diseases, we are having the economy so high, and we are having uh, a baby boom in our population. The youth are very many. The dependency ratios are too high. You're finding a destitute helping a destitute. I'm not being obscene or abusing, mm -hmm. but you're finding a young kid nursing or helping a young what? Kid, a, parent, a kid being a parent to a kid. The paradox is a bit complicated, but we are saying, if we are saying that we don't want to give these young kids contraceptives, this is, that is the ideal. Like, for example, we can say in schools it is abstinence. That is the ideal. But the reality says these kids even have sex in class. Even in corners when teachers are teaching. I think you've had schools that are, are really having those scenarios. It is happening even now. So we are saying that the ideal is, is the latter. But the reality says kids are having sex day in and day out. Our colleagues have talked about social media. The information we are having on social media is not censored. No one filters the information. You get a kid of five years knowing that Google apps more than even a 70-year-old parent. Mm. The kid dives into the phone, goes into a porn site, starts enjoying sex. What do you recommend somebody start with? I can say once you start to become sexually active, this is a question Yes, sexually active. Mm. It can be, let me say 15 years, let me take a baseline of 15 years. Mm. If you're sexually active, mm. it is better to use a contraceptive rather than losing your life for good. What age do you recommend somebody to use from the family? Your sister. Uh, when I talk about what, what age? age I would recommend someone to use family planning, uh, the essence is, for me, I would think as soon as you hit the reproductive age, as soon as you are sexually active or activated biologically, mm -hmm. uh, I would think I would advise you to choose from the planning. Um, me, I would think um, uh, some children also start uh, periods like at 80, 8 years. So, Yes, you're ready, any time. Yes, like if a girl, uh, if you start periods, uh, you, you're, you're, of course, if you, if you start periods there, you can get, a, you, you're at a risk. Anything, you, they can rape you, they can do anything. So you, that is when you're ready for anything. So I so think as soon as... Somebody might rape you. They might rape you. Wow. Yeah, so they, they're, they're living high... In the, living in the country where... But Yes, anything can happen. Yes, like school kids, <laughs> so they can, uh, and not really move. Not for the kids, mm -hmm. uh, but then uh, um, I think um, when they are just sexually active, yes. Mm -hmm. So, Abawala actually Bakulan, you saw Sango Mualanga. Not for Valenzi can you? But I can't come in. I'm come in. So, come in. Yeah. Who shouldn't and who should use family planning? I, uh, I, I think everybody should use. Actually, I don't think everyone should use family planning. Everyone. Yeah, mm. because we need it. And at what age do you recommend your sister? As long as she she's sexually active, because we are looking at you know, we are we are not only looking at using.